Hi everyone, welcome to Cocktails and Dreams. I'm your host, Zach Prohaska, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple techniques that you can use behind the bar to make you look a little flashy. Now, what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial is finger rolls. People have been asking about finger rolls, so I've made a tutorial for you, and I hope this helps you make a lot more money. Now, before I show you this move, please check out our Instagram. We've got one minute tutorials on there and they're awesome for you to learn from. Also, man, if you like this video, comment below. Let your bartender buddies know that we're out there and we can help them make more money and create more opportunity and experiences for them. Trust me, I've been lucky enough to experience some amazing things because of flair bartending and so have many of my friends. So if you have a friend that's a bartender, point them our direction and we'll help them out to make some more money, okay? Now, before I show you these moves, just remember, these moves are a little bit more time consuming than others. They take time and consistency, so you gotta do it over and over and over again. Some of my students land it in a minute. I, however, it took a long time. It took me a couple hours, so if I can do it, trust me, you can do it. But what makes these moves so great is that they're quick, they're effective, and they won't slow down your service at all. So you gotta get really good at it so you can do them behind the bar without even thinking about it. All right, so first of all, what we're gonna start off is a reverse thumb roll. Now, a reverse thumb roll is probably the easiest of thumb rolls that you can learn. All it is is you're grabbing the base of the tin, you're having your thumb up high and your forefingers on the outside. You're pulling the tin towards you, just like so, and you're gonna just snap the tin over your thumb, rolling it over, one full rotation, opening your fingers and grabbing the, the top of the tin. I'll show you again. We're grabbing the base, we're pulling towards us, we're letting go, our forefingers are opening up, it's gonna roll over, and we're gonna catch, I'll show you again. Roll up and catch, grabbing the top, pulling towards me, opening my four fingers, and catching. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a couple ways on how to use a reverse thumb roll. So, let's just say I needed to shake this drink. Normally, I could just grab my tin, place it on top, and shake, right? Well, instead of just grabbing the tin and placing it on top, you can just do a reverse thumb roll and place it on top. You could also do it with a jigger. It's quite easy with a jigger, actually, because it's the way the size is. It just rolls right into your hand. It's super easy. Uh, I suggest actually practicing with a jigger, but you should practice with a jigger, a tin, a bottle, and all the above, because the more things that you can do with it, the more you can use it throughout the night. Okay, now our second one is a regular thumb roll. Now, a regular thumb roll just looks like this. We're gonna hold the bottom of the tin. We're gonna take our four fingers, pulling the tin towards us, and we're gonna roll the tin over our thumb, and we're gonna catch it. Okay, I'll show you again. We're holding the base, we're pulling towards us, we're opening up our fingers, it's gonna roll over and catch, and I'll show you again. We're just rolling it over our thumb, opening our fingers, rolling it, opening our fingers and rolling it. If I wanted to do an easy pour, you can do it with your muddler, your mixing glasses. Now our third roll is the finger roll. So this is a cool one too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the middle of the tin. We're gonna snap the tin towards us. We're gonna open up our three fingers from here. The tin's gonna open up, we're gonna open up our thumb. It's gonna roll over our index finger and then we're gonna catch it. I'll show you again. So we're gonna hold the middle of the tin. We're gonna pull towards us. We're gonna snap the tin towards us. We're gonna open up our three fingers. We're gonna let our thumb go. The tin's gonna roll over our index finger right around and into a grip. And when you get comfortable, it should look like this. All right, I'll show you one more time. And once more, and there you are. With a finger roll, you can do it with a spoon. And you can even do it with an exhibition flare bottle. This ball's got about two and a half ounces inside of it. I'm gonna roll over my finger, just like so. I can go into a pour after if I'd like as well. So those are simple ways that you can use a thumb roll, a reverse thumb roll, and a finger spin. But what I want to show you here is a little bit of a fun little technique that you can use behind the bar. Now, you wouldn't want to do this with a full bottle unless you're working in a classic bar where you don't have spouts and you're taking the, the cap off at all times while you're pouring. Um, or if you just wanted to do it with an empty bottle or a tin, but I'm going to show you the gunslinger. Now, the gunslinger is a cool technique. And what it is is we're combining the finger roll and the thumb roll together to create this motion right here. I'll show you again. We're starting off with the finger roll. Then we're doing a thumb roll and catching it by the neck. I'll show you again. Finger, thumb, catch, and then we do it with a little speed. One, two, three, and there you have it, the gunslinger. Now this move is crazy behind the bar. You can do it with anything. You can do it with a tin. You can even do it with a jigger. So practice these techniques, guys. I promise you, they'll make you a lot of money behind the bar. They'll create some awesome experiences for you. And they'll just make you look like a rock star. If you like this video, don't forget that we have one minute tutorials on our Instagram and let us know what you think in the comments below. Have fun and keep flipping.